Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar and in today's lesson I'm going to be teaching you how to play with a... Where'd it go? I'm always losing these things. They just disappear. We're going to be learning how to play with a pick. So, um, my friend Michael, who's a member of Super Simple Guitar, emailed me recently and asked me how to play with a pick. So I'm going to be talking about and and strum, strumming with a pick. So not single note playing, but just nice fluid strumming using a pick. And this is a question I get asked quite a bit. So I'm going to try to explain in, re in detail the problems that I see my beginner students having and try to help you solve those the same as I have helped them in the past, okay? So without further ado, let's get in the close up. One last thing before we do, if you have not yet, there's a free download for my book somewhere around this video. It'll teach you all the chords you're gonna to need to know as a beginner, and it'll also teach you how to master the entire fretboard. It'll teach you the musical alphabet. It'll teach you how to move chord shapes all over the neck. So not just beginner chords in here, but a lot of information for you. And if you become a member of Super Simple Guitar, I actually send a physical copy to my members as a welcome gift. So if you want to check that out, check it out. All right, let's get in the close-up now and let me show you really everything that I think you need to know to um, strum with ease. Okay, all right, see you there. Okay, so we're not at the close-up yet as I thought because I just realized there's something very important that I need to tell you before we get into the close-up. So. Um, the most important thing for you to realize, especially if you're at those beginner phases and you've never played with one of these before, is that it does take some time and you're gonna have to be patient, okay? I've seen it take up to really a couple of months for people to get um, a fluid and nice motion of strumming, okay? Where it feels good, where it's not constantly falling out of your hand, where you're not hitting the strings way too hard and kind of getting stuck with the pick on the on the upstrokes. So you are going to have to be patient. So that's the really most important thing that I can tell you. If you're at the beginning phases, don't expect too much too soon, okay? These things do take time, but if you stick to it and you implement what I'm going to be talking about in the close-up, um, you should be able to get this, okay? Just don't quit and don't be... Um, don't expect too fast um, results, okay? Okay, that's really, really important. I need to say that before we do anything on the guitar. So with that now behind us, let's actually check out the guitar in the close-up and let me show you some things that will definitely help you. All right, let's get in there. Okay, so welcome to the close-up. Okay, so the first thing that I definitely see happening a lot is that people will be strumming and the pick will just fall out of your hand, right? So that's kind of issue number one that people will have. Issue number two, and I have this a lot, is you'll be strumming and the pick will fall into your guitar and it'll be just a hassle to try to get it out again, okay? So these are totally normal things, all right? That's a really important thing for you to know is that at the beginning, this is very normal and there isn't a single person who does not experience this. Um, I've never seen it. It's always going to happen. Okay, so don't be frustrated and upset. Just accept it as something that's a part of your journey. Okay, really important. So dropping the pick, the pick falling into your guitar. Another thing that I'll see is that on the upstrokes, you'll just be hitting the strings really hard and kind of getting stuck. Right, so I'm sure you're experiencing these things. And another thing that I'll see is people really just I don't want to do it because it's going to be loud, but really just strumming really hard, okay? And that's not at all necessary, okay? So those are the issues that I see most common. And now let me talk about some of the solutions, okay? So first of all, how are you holding the pick? So what I recommend is, um, let me just see if I'm zooming in on my fingers here. Can we see that clearly? Okay, so you're going to make like a little circle. Okay, see that? So I'm just making like this little circle here. And then in this little space here, I'm just gonna stick the pick in, okay? And it's a loose, it's a loose, I'm not squeezing on it really hard. It's just this loose 
feeling that I have on the pick. Okay, so that's first step. Second step is you do not want the pick to be like this. You don't want it to be sticking out because then you're not gonna have any grip on it and it's gonna fall out of your hand, okay? So you wanna have the pick pretty deep in there so that only the point of the pick, you see that, is sticking out, okay? And now what I'll hear people say is, okay, Henry, but when I do a downstroke, when the pick is so deep in, my, my finger will be touching the string, and then people will think that that's wrong. And actually, it's quite normal to have some skin contact from your finger on the string. I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. But on my finger, I'm not sure if I can zoom in on it. There's actually this little, kind of like a scar almost from, from just hitting the strings. Especially when I play electric guitar and really pump the strings hard and play for a long time. I actually have this little kind of like mini scar here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but just so you know, totally normal to be actually making contact with your skin on the strings while you're strumming, okay? Okay, so just so you know, that's totally normal. So a couple of reasons, one more reason. So reason number one is so that it's not flippy flopping around and falling out of your hand, okay? Reason number two is that if the pick is too far out, you're gonna be making a lot more string contact, right? And that's gonna, that's not gonna let you flow nicely through the strings. If it's like this, look at all that friction for me to get from one string to the next, right? There's a lot of friction there. And then if you, if you only have the point out, then you're only just gently with the tip of the pick cutting through the string, all right? So this is the part of the pick that you wanna be cutting through. Not all of this, right? I hope you can see the focus on that, but okay. So we're really trying to just make contact with the tip of the pick, okay? This might be a little bit strange at first, but you will get it once you get used to having that skin contact at the same time, okay? So it's deep in there. I'm still trying to stay relaxed. I'm not squeezing it like crazy because we wanna be loose. We wanna be nice and loose, okay? And also, um, the motion is kind of coming from the wrist. So you wanna have a really loose wrist as well. Everything should feel really relaxed, okay? So those are the first couple of steps. And now, another really important step is to um, not hold the pick straight like this. Let me see. Not like this, but tilt it slightly, okay? So it's not, the contact on the string is not this, it's this. I hope you can see that. So it's not this flat motion. Let me see, flat. It's slightly tilted, okay? And that allows me to cut through the strings with less friction. If it's totally straight like this, there's tons of friction there, okay? If I slightly tilt it, there's much, much less friction, okay? And normally I'd have it even deeper in. So I have, I have more control because it's deep in, I have a good grip on it, and only the tip is pointing out, so again, causing less friction, plus I'm tilting it a little bit. So I'm, I'm doing basically three things to minimize the friction that I'm gonna be experiencing while strumming. And again, I'm staying loose. So it's just this nice little loose um, motion that's happening, okay? I'll see people, you know, just banging on the guitar because, you know, it's new and you kind of sometimes feel like you need to do that, but it's actually the opposite is true. You want to stay as relaxed as possible and just try to get it to flow, okay? So, I mean, that's more or less that. So you want to have the pick pretty deep in, right? You want to slightly tilt downwards. You want to stay really relaxed and the motion should be kind of coming from the wrist. It's not coming from my arm. The motion is really this nice little wrist motion. And then on the upstrokes, we're not going for all six strings. We're kind of going for these first three to maybe four strings, okay? 
And I tell students this has to be really light. I, I try to describe it with like a feather. Imagine a feather brushing over the strings, okay? You want your pick to be like a feather. It should be this nice, light, just this nice, light, relaxed motion. Again, no firm pushing down. It's really this light, relaxed feeling I have here. And I'm just gliding through the strings. And you can practice it by putting your left hand down on the um, guitar like this and just focus on that right hand a little bit. Just get that motion flowing and see how that feels, okay? And again, you will lose the pick. It's gonna continue to happen. It's gonna fall in the guitar. But if you just stick to it and keep showing up, it'll get easier and it'll start to flow more, okay? So, that's really all I have to say about that. Try to stay relaxed, try to make light contact on the string. So again, I'm just doing this. It's so light. I'm barely touching the strings. And, and the opposite of that would be. That's what I see beginners doing a lot of. So you, it's, it's the opposite. You just wanna have this light little. Another thing you could do to practice this would be to go for the bass note first. So if you're playing like a G major chord, I'm just playing it here so you can see what a G major would look like, try to play the bass first and then strum down. So bass, strum. And that's gonna teach you to get these light little um, picks and to get a light feeling when you're coming down. Because if you have to play a single note before you strum, you're not gonna be able to go down on it hard like that, okay? So it's gonna be this light little, um, if you're playing A minor, go for the fifth string. The D, go for the fourth string. <laughs> All right, so that's about that. I really hope this lesson helped you out. Implement everything that I've been talking about. Um, be patient. And I'm sure if you just stick to it that you will get good and that this will work for you, okay? All right, my friends, I hope you like this lesson. Implement what I've been saying and um, keep me updated. All right, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you. Henry Olsen here. Bye-bye.